We're at the National Intercollegiate Invitation Tournament. Hobnobbing with the elite among college basketeers. This is old running guard Bill Stern, the sage of the cave, introducing you to the best in the sport of the court, where East meets West to quibble over a dribble or to blow a gasket for a basket. Here's a game that's strictly good old United States of America, which may account for more paying customers clicking through the country's turnstiles and for more kids playing it than any other sport. So loop it through the hoop, brother, and let's see what makes a front page cage team steam. St. John's, a name of fame in the game. One that's been worn by plenty of basketball's biggest shots. Through a Baker's dozen years, St. John's has turned out some of the cagiest, sport cagiest headliners in the East. The country's largest Catholic college, St. John's is tagged as a basketball school, which means it's strictly big league. Introducing Coach Joe Lapchick who keeps the team on the beam. Frank Platamura, a nifty, swifty ball handler. Larry Baxter, the set shot, his pet shot. Al Machete, fleet on his feet, kept in Fuzzy Levain. A slick trick under the basket. Little High Godkin makes him nibble with his dribble. And finally, if you don't mind craning your neck a bit, Harry Boykoff, one of the game's greatest. Little High Godkin and Big Boy Boykoff. The tested and the tasket in St. John's Basket. Skipper Lapchick, who rates the double spread on the pages of basketball history, both as player and coach, stresses the fundamentals, starting with ball handling. The coach puts the accent on relaxation, as in all sports. Hold the ball firmly, but without tension, letting the fingers supply the pressure. Fingertip control with freewheeling wrists. Elbows and wrists put power in the pass. Fingers give it added snap and direction. Getting rid of that apple marks the really cagey taste. And you're looking at some of the shooting the stars basketball ever saw. Ripping the ball for the free throw is something else again. There's still the relaxation and fingertip control. But now, the thumbs bridge inward towards each other to give guidance to the shot. Of course, some bums are all thumbs. A twist of the wrist puts the right spin on the skin for that old free throw, English in other words. Timing and coordination of eye and muscle are what do the trick. One, two, three, flex the knee. It's done in rhythm with follow through. In the underhand throw, loop it high. And if you've got the range, it should drop through. Neat as a replete in a jitterbug's jeans. Dead Eye Larry Baxter uses a different technique, but it all counts the same on the scoreboard. He's so honest, he won't even throw underhanded. No, sir. Larry lets it go from waist high, pushing it up and in. From basket to Baxter to Big Boy Boykoff. That sounds like I'm putting a bee on you. When you're up there with Big Boy, you're practically in the balcony. So you just rear back with an overhead heave. Boykoff is really boss of that toss. Baxter's specialty, the set shot. He's a dangerous Dan from any point in the joint that's within range of that hoop. From this angle, he uses the backboard. A bit of a spin, and it's in. With his six feet nine, Boykoff's a menace under the rim in any old gym. Climbing right up there, a fingertip tap does it. Some guard, eh, pard? Then he's the goal, he's tapped right in the hole with the same technique put it somewhere in the neighborhood, and he'll make it good. Lapchick works out every play in advance. Fact is, when a St. John's chap can get the tap, they use signal. So quick are these guys when their slick tricks click. I've got a notion you'll see it better in slow motion. Keep your optics on number 12 in this play. Got it. dazzling the second stringers in white shirts, slide a handwork with a ball outside the defense. 
speed does the deed. Man and ball, an ocean of motion. Number 14's the keystone for most breakthrough plays. Number six has the range. There's a regular pattern like ring around the rosy to this business of working through the defense. 14, keystoning the play again. Wherever the ball goes, there's a St. Johnny on the spot to take it. 11 chucks it to 6, who dribbles, then hooks it back. And there's Mr. 11. That guy Boykoff takes the cake with his face. Right. Left, then pivot without digging a divot. And there she goes, right on the nose. Out of bound plays are figured in advance, too. When that number 11's in the bucket, that's where to chuck it. From where old Eagle Eye Stern sits, looks like the big boys using that secret Yankee bomb sight. Little boy in the front row wants to know if they ever miss. Haha, <laughs> well, I watch them every show and they never blow. Funny, ain't it, Sonny? I Godkin making with the dribble. Look, listen, and learn with Stern. The best dribble is low, only from about knee high. Use the fingertips to control the bounce, not the flat of the hand. What do I know about it? Why, brother, I could dribble when I was a baby. Right down my chin. Levain specializes in fancy zoot shooting. Take this one and try it on just for size. Machete about to dribble through his legs from his right side to the left. There it goes. And that makes just about everything there is to basketball. What they haven't got just isn't in the books. So let's journey to the tourney with St. John. The payoff playoff to crown the national campus of the campus, where every college basketeer wants to appear to meet the elite of the court. Madison Square Garden, indoor sports capital of the world. Fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, and 20,000 fans in the stands as ten college kids the rage of the cage chase fame in a basketball. Wyoming against St. John. Number six, our young friend Al Machete spills but gets it away to Boykoff, number 11. Watch him click. The pass is a little high Godkin who pivots and shuts it back to the vein, and St. John's is rolling. in this game, too. Boykoff misses the tap out, and it's good. Machete dribbles right down to score a beautiful hook shot. It pulls the crowd right to their feet. St. John's, the royalty of the court sport, the kings of basketball.